Hey guys, Gorth Bellion here. I had a client ask, ask if we had waste bins in barrels. And I said, yes we do. Because my thought was, hey, I'm just gonna make these, rent them out, and this might be a cool rental for the future, for other clients. And here you go. I'm just in the process of finishing up. There's a few things I need to add still. For example, chain, so that all the stress isn't on the hinge. It is actually able to support itself on the hinge itself. Let me show you. Uh, but obviously that's a lot of stress. So I'm gonna put some chains on there. Let's close that back up. Um, I'm gonna put a little handle here. And I'm gonna get a bigger garbage can. Clearly that garbage can is a bit too small. It looks silly in there. And for some of them, maybe I'll, I'll have like a recycling type where there's like an opening here for, for cats to go through. There's a lot of ideas and a few more improvements. The bulk of it, the hard part, the cutting uh, with tools is complete. But yeah, I thought this would be fantastic because no one has this. No one has this in my area for rent. Yes, I mean, they can copy me. Eventually they might, they'll be like, oh man, that's a sweet idea. But none of the local companies that rent barrels, there's only a few of them here, actually have this kind of cool garbage waste bin type of barrel. So that's a huge advantage in the rental industry right there, being the only one with the item. It's a super unique, cool item. It's hip, it can go to tons of rustic. This area is known for its rustic stuff. It's Calgary, Canada, and Calgary is all about like cowboy style. So it's a perfect fit for the market. And I'm gonna start like a line of barrels. Instead of offering just, hey, here's the little barrel for you for rent. Why not have a few? You can have a garbage barrel. You can have a regular barrel. You could have maybe, maybe we'll have one that's like a um, distressed white for kind of like fancier events. And then we'll like gloss it up. So it's kind of fancy. It, would, it could go to those really like fancy types of events. So maybe we'll have like a line of barrels all for the same price, but you can kind of choose which barrel. So it gives us like a clear advantage in the industry, something different, something unique. And I think it's going to be a huge hit. Um, but yeah, again, I need to, I'm still finishing up. I did put some self tapping screws uh, to kind of reinforce. I'm going to put, I used to play a computer game where they, they said reinforce. It was like on the, I'm going off on a tangent, but I'm going to put more of those, maybe like a cool stopper. I did actually use, uh, here, I'll show you. The hinge was too black in comparison to the, uh, at the back, right? The hinge, and this is actually for like a gate. So it is meant to be used multiple times. It's for a gate, so it's a gate hinge. I had a couple laying around. And so it is meant to be opened continuously. So it's, it's a bit more beefy. Um, than like a cheap hinge. Um, it's it's quite large and thick, so that, that is nice. And then I, I screwed it in all the way through the wood and then I just grinded it off um, with the grinder. There is the grinder. So I can kind of show you. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of, oh yeah, it's hard to see. So basically, um, that, that way the screw is all the way through the wood instead of just a little bit through the wood. So it, it should be, quite strong there. Furthermore, I will put in those chains uh, so that the lid isn't loose. Now, I'm kind of worried that this might slam on someone's hands, so I gotta figure that out. Maybe like have another chain on the back that locks to the back so it doesn't close in the wind or slam on someone's hands because obviously that would be terrible. Um, and uh, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you that. It's the new, a new product, a new rental item. Let me get a good thumbnail here. See, that's pretty cool because the back of the truck is like good for the printing there of the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this item. And maybe I'll show you a video when it's completely complete, when it has the proper garbage can, when it has the chains, etc. Oh, to finish my thought about the hinges, I actually spray painted them like a, like a brownish kind of rustic-y color because they were just way too black and it just stood out. It's too much contrast. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me get you another, it's kind of like wine stained. It looks pretty epic. Um, 
There was a couple stickers on the top, and I ripped them off, and you could kind of tell, so I kind of sprayed painted it a little bit to blend in as if there was no stickers, but it's kind of cool, like cool markings. I think it's super unique, and people don't really know it's a garbage can. It doesn't, because you know what? Garbage cans, like look at them. They're, they're an eyesore, those gar garbage cans. So I think this will, will be fantastic, especially in kind of classier, rustic type ele elegant events. Guys, take it easy. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later.